Hello and welcome to Indus News. I'm Aiza Umar from the Lahore Studios. We'll take a look at the headlines. We start from Sri Lanka where another blast has gone off in Colombo, the eighth explosion in the country since morning. More than 180 people have been confirmed dead so far in the string of attacks targeting hotels and churches. Police said that more than 500 others were injured in the explosions. No one has claimed responsibility for the attacks. At least 31 insurgents and Afghan soldiers have been killed in the latest clashes across Afghanistan. The Interior Ministry said 20 insurgents were killed in airstrikes and ground operations in Faryab, Uruzgan and Helmand provinces. Taliban said that 11 Afghan soldiers were killed in attacks in northeastern Kapisa and eastern Kabul provinces. Moving on, Ukrainians are voting in the final phase of elections to pick the country's next president. Incumbent President Petro Poroshenko is up against the challenger Volodymyr Zelensky. The comedian-turned-politician Zelensky won the first round in March. In another development, at least 85 people have been killed in a latest fighting between Yemen's warring parties in southern Dale province. Government coalition forces have claimed destroying a Houthi camp near the presidential palace in the capital, Sana'a. Meanwhile, Houthi rebels claim that they fired a ballistic missile targeting a gathering of government troops in Jiz Jizan province. And on the basketball court, Philadelphia 76ers have defeated Brooklyn Nets in a last-minute thriller to take a 3-1 lead in the Eastern Conference playoffs. Mike Scott hit a three-pointer with 18.6 seconds remaining to lift the visiting Philadelphia 76ers past the Brooklyn Nets for 112 to 108. We'll take a quick short break, no go away, we're coming back with the news in detail.